What's up fishing folks? I'm Toby and this is Bad Fishing Habit. Today I've got a quick video for you. We're going to do a gear review on something that I bought off of Amazon. Something that I think every fisherman needs and I don't know why I never owned one before. But uh, it's this guy here. It's the Vimoff Fishing Multi-Tool 5 inch. And you actually get two of these for $12.99 Canadian. So I figured I'd check them out, see if they're any good and let you guys know about it. I'm going to do a little test on them here basically. I'm going to change out some split rings on, and put on some hooks. And we're also going to see how they are at uh, taking down the barb or debarbing hooks and also cutting different kinds of leader and line. So this fishing multi-tool by Vimoff or Vimoff. You get two for 13 bucks. They're about five inches long in total length. They're titanium plated for rust proofing and they're also considered UV resistant and okay for saltwater use as well. They have a split ring tip as well as a line cutter for all types of line. And on Amazon they're rated at four out of five stars. So let's check them out and see if they're good or garbage. Okay, so test number one is going to be putting down the barb on a hook. No problem there. That's a uh, number one and I saw wash. And this is the hook that I'm going to change. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, one aught or two aught on a size four spinner. Still there. Barb is down. So that works pretty good. Okay, test number two. Split ring. There you go. Works pretty good. Okay, test number three. Line cutting. So we got 17 pound fluoro. Let's see how she works out. Piece of cake. Nice and sharp. Okay, next let's try 25 pound mono. No problem. Next we have 30 pound nylon flybacking. Pretty good. It's not tearing the end at all. And last, we got 40 pound fireline braid. Piece of cake. Very nice. Tip. Nice and clean cut. All right, so the, uh, the cutters on this guy here work pretty good. Okay, so the actual reason why I bought these uh, in the first place and last minute before my big trout fishing trip is that I wanted to be able to switch all these hooks off these number four spinners that I bought, also off of Amazon. This is actually um, a local company uh, here in Vancouver called Prime Lures. This is their version of a the Blue Fox spinner, bell spinner. For rainbow trout, I think this hook is a little bit a little bit on the big side. Like I said, I think it's a one aught or a two aught. So we're gonna take those off. I'm going to install a split ring on the back end of the lure there, so that changing the hooks later on uh, back and forth will be a lot easier and won't require me to cut the hooks off and waste the hooks. Split ring is on there. It's open. Okay, here we go, the rings are on. Just uh, first impression, the only complaint I might have about these things is that the split ring tip here is pretty small. It could be a little bit bigger, it could be a little wider, just so that it would splay out the ring away from itself a little bit more and give you just a little bit more clearance to be able to slide you know, the metal through. But that, uh, pretty good. And as far as the wear and tear, that's five rings I just did right now. 
and I wasn't being overly gentle or gingerly with it. I mean, these things are pretty tiny, but honestly, they feel pretty good. I mean, um, they're definitely ergo. The handle's nice. It's got nice action. It's you know spring loaded, so it, it opens itself back up. Uh, I don't feel like I have a lack of control or anything like that. Overall, I don't see any damage to that tip, so I'd say that's pretty, pretty good. And finally, the last step of this is to put this sucker on, the new hooks on. So can this thing close the eye is the next question, I guess. Oh, that slipped. Back to be a little tighter? Yeah, probably. So maybe that's the only thing these things can't do is that, uh, I mean, the gripping surface on there is pretty small. That's the only thing these things can't do so far, at least for this job here, which is the purpose I bought them for in the first place. Um, the only thing they can't do is close that eye back up. So you would need a, a bigger set of pliers to do that, obviously, just to have more leverage and more surface area on the bigger set of pliers. So that's the only thing these things can't do with respect to this job. But the other reason why I bought these two is that they've got this hole right there. And anybody that spent any time in the water knows that the last thing you want to do is you know, have this in your pack or have this on your vest and then you drop this sucker in the river or in the lake and, and it's gone bye-bye. Can I crimp my barbs? Yes. Can I cut line? Tag ends? Yes. Can I switch out hooks? Kinda. And you know, you could also use this to remove the hook from the fish's mouth too. So these are going to be super handy on the river I think. That's my prediction at least. This is what I'm replacing. There you go, so that's gonna be the setup. Oh, and it also has a lock too, so that, uh, which is nice, you're not accidentally stabbing yourself or catching things by accident. So, nice little lock mechanism right there. Works pretty well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Check out the item on Amazon if it interests you. And uh, yeah, see you out in the water. Peace.